Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Corey Hine wins rain shortened Martinsville truck fiasco the checkered flag in 1995 and 2021. Martinsville Speedway was the site of NASCAR S wet tire oval testing when the sanctioning agency was looking for a way to race in wet weather. On Friday, the Craftsman Truck Series had to put the wet weather package into action. In the in contrast to real rain races, which are not possible on ovals because the tires are subjected to excessive stress from leaning, the wet weather package is intended to enable races to take place on moderately wet roads, without having to wait for the track to dry on Friday. The wet tire equipped trucks went in single file during the pace laps, to speed up the drying process, although their impact on the race was minimal, as the rain quickly subsided. The race start had been delayed due to lightning while on stage one. There was only a competition warning, followed by the stage stop page. There were four wrecks in the second leg. The final crash on lap 117 came when Carson Hossever attempted to run three wide races, with Taylor Gray and Matt DiBenedetto. Contact between Hossever, who is garnering some criticism for his aggressive driving style, and Gray sparked a retaliatory strike from Hossever, when he cut off Gray, only to spin himself out. The rain returned during the subsequent yellow flag. After the race was well past its halfway point, NASCAR decided to retire after 124 laps of 200. I just looked ahead, said Haim. I just had to stay focused and make sure I had a perfect day with these guys behind you. It is really hard to hold them back unless you re-perfect. And I think we've succeeded in doing just that. Tricon teammate William Solik, the current Arca Menard Series East leader, finished 9th in his truck debut. Other newcomer finishes included Connor Jones in 17th. Memphis Villarreal in 24th, and Jonathan Schaefer in 29th. Brad Paris finished 35th in his first NASCAR oval start.